I'm waiting. Why don't we get together in the morning? Didn't think so. What happened? Tracy. <sighs> Tracy, what were you doing? Protecting you, actually. I heard a strange noise. So I crept downstairs and listened outside your office door. There was someone in there. So I bravely charged in and caught the most evil-looking burglar you've ever seen. He's trying to look in your filing cabinet, which was locked. What would a burglar want with my boring old filing cabinet? Give me a felt. Oh, mine will do, and I'll try and figure it out. Oh, now you know that's not allowed. Why don't you tell me instead? If you're not showing, I'm not telling. Did you bring any sweets? Uh, no, sorry. You should try it, Elaine. It might help you with my confidence. Well, thanks for the tip. So what were you after in Jenny's office? Burglars. Hiding in the filing cabinet, were they? Don't try and make jokes. Social workers aren't funny. What were you looking for? It might be something I can help you with. That is a tragic attempt to bribe. You didn't have to set Elaine the pain on me. <sighs> Will you call her off if I tell you what I wanted? Almost definitely. I was looking for my mum's address. I want to write to her and tell her that I'm back here and get her to come and get me. She knows you're here. Elaine wrote to her. But if I write to her, she'll know it's urgent. I'm sorry, Tracy, it's just not possible. How can you keep a child from their mother? Don't blame me if my behavioural problems get any worse. Mm, low turnout after last night's hoo-ha. Here you screamed the place down, Tracy. I heard a burglar. I was screaming to frighten them off. <laughs> Admit it, you were terrified. I'm braver than you, Justin. It would any old day of the week. Once before you came, the dumping ground caught fire and I was the one who raised the alarm and led everyone out to safety. And then I was the only person brave enough to go in and save poor little Maxie. He'd have been burnt to a crisp if I hadn't rescued him from that terrible, terrible fire. What on earth do you think you're doing, Tracy? Seeing if it's true what they say on TV. A real fire makes your house feel more like home. Didn't work. Justine's twice as brave as you. Wanna prove it? We could have a dare competition. And nothing better to do. What's the prize? My old bedroom. Not as brave as you thought. I'm in. And if you chicken out, she gets your room. Yeah, but why she chickens out? You get to keep it. Want any help with the packing? <laughs> I get to go first, because it was my idea. I dare you to... Duke, can you help me with this lock? She's done it, top of the cupboard door. What's daring about that? Duke will get it and he's so soft it don't even count. Tracy dared me to fly bomb someone. She didn't say who. Shh. Talk to me unless you want your head bitten off. You probably need some sugar in your system. Mm, this gets a great idea. <laughs> oh, trust me, you don't want to go in that kitchen. Screwdriver. <laughs> Be that. Just tell me what he's doing. <laughs> Do you know anything about this? Oh, it's for sweeping up. It's gone a dustpan. Don't push your luck, miss. <laughs> Are we doing dares or what? I've got a bedroom to move into. <laughs> right, here's your next dare.
Tim, let's find that door. But I'm the referee. So? One all, everything to play for. Ready for another one or shall we just start moving things out of my bedroom? In your dreams. You can drop the innocent act. When I come down after my shower, I want to find this place exactly as I left it. No booby traps, no flower bombs, nothing. Yes, Jenny. Okay, Justine, a Beaker Dare special coming up. Hello? I wish I could see her face. <laughs> really? Well, it looks like this. No TV for you tonight. And if anything else should happen to me today, I will ban you from watching it for the rest of your lives. Everyone's innocent till proven guilty. Well, I think the evidence is pretty conclusive, don't you? I've seen a lot of cheese sauce, have you? You checked on top of the cupboard door. She'll never do it. She's got to. Justine done flour and shower. Tracy's only done cheese sauce. She's got to do trees so they're even. Shut up, you lot. I'm trying to plan my route. Ryan. I climbed higher and higher, higher than the birds, higher than the clouds, until I was almost as high as the stars. Tracy, that's high enough. <gasps> Be careful! Tracy's stuck up a tree. All right, Peter. Be with you straight away. I'll be with you in a second, all right? you up to this, hey? No one, it wasn't me! Listen, I'm going to take my sock and wring it out and serve it up to them. Are you going to go rescue Tracy? What? She really is stuck up a tree. It doesn't count. It does. I haven't finished yet. Oh, yes, you have. You snitched Peter Ingham. If he hadn't told us, you'd have been stuck up there all day. I wasn't stuck. I was resting. <laughs> What's that about, Socks in cheese sauce. Anything to do with you? How could it be? I've been stuck up a tree. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Justine? Rubber gloves? Go on. Right down. She's doing it. Cool. Gross. Oh. A convincing 3-2 lead to Justine Littlewood. What's the matter, Tracy? You can't stand it because you finally met someone more daring than you. No one's more daring than me. I dare you to eat a worm. You're not scared of worms, are you? I'm not scared of anything. It doesn't matter how creepy, crawly, hairy, slimy it is. <laughs> oh, and I'm especially not scared of worms. Go on, take it. It's a lovely little worm. It's lovely, lovely. Oh. 
What's the matter with your kids? She's always been in my ear about having a pet. <laughs> She's never going to. She finally met someone more daring than you. Now, what shall I dare you to do next? Forget it. You have me jumping off the roof or something. I'm not killing myself for you, Tracy Beaker. You are a total headcase. Tracy Beaker, champion daredevil, can now reclaim her rightful bedroom. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Bob, guys, come on. Come along, slow coach. You were going to have lasagna until somebody changed my cheese sauce into a foot bath. I'd rather have this, Duke. I love the way you make it so wriggly and slithery. Mmm. <laughs> Happy now? Not really. You got your room, didn't you? You know what, Justin Littlewood? My new room's much better than this. And I want your scratchy old pit after all. Tracy! <laughs> nice one, but I didn't stop there. Tracy? I just told you that. I need a blue crayon to colour in a river. I thought you were supposed to be working on your life book. What are you doing calling in rivers? Using my imagination, Mike. That's what writers do. I've written about how upset my foster parents were when I made them bring me back. So I've drawn a picture of them crying a river of tears. More mm. like tears of happiness at getting shot of you. even colour in a puddle, let alone a river. Yeah, well, come on, come over here and help me tidy this lot away. I can't, I won't have enough time to finish this before the writer gets here. I suppose I better start at the top and work my way down then, had I? I don't know why you're bothering. I bet she won't even read it. Shows how much you know about writers. She can't do an article about this dump till she finds out about us lot first. <sighs> Yeah. Listen, I don't suppose you'd help me tidy up, would you? Sorry. Writing my life book. Oh, what with? Plum crash? <laughs> anyway, I've done the house tours today. Yeah, uh, this is extra. I promised Jenny that I'd help straighten the place out you know, for the visitor. OK. For five tapes of my choice from your CD collection and a late pass so I can see a movie with CJ. I thought you dumped him. Keep up. That was so last week. Right, listen. Three tapes, but no late pass. I'm sorry. No late pass, no deal. Sorry. Anybody want to help me bake a cake for the visitor? Duke, never interrupt a writer in full fly. What sort of cake? I thought a sponge cake, maybe. Sponge? That's not interesting enough for someone posh like a writer. Sorry? Well, what do you suggest? How about fairy cakes? Because it's fair when you eat them. When you have one cake, someone always gets a bigger slice than you. So, fairy cake it is, then. Tracy, I'm going to help. Duke, I'm a writer, not a cook. Ask one of the less creative kids. That's good. And what I've written to go with it is so brilliant. The writer will want to do her whole article just about me. The minute my mum sees it, she'll come and get me straight away. They'll probably stick me on the front cover and everything. Even if my mum doesn't see it, tons of other people will. It won't be long before somebody tells her about it. <laughs> Thought any more about my late pass? Nope. Obviously don't need help then. Adele, wait! I still haven't done downstairs yet. I'll take the Sunset Grove Omnibus for you. Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes and a late pass. Two tapes, the Sunset Grove Omnibus and no late pass.
Maxie! You said I could flip the bowl if I helped. Not till it's empty. But if it was empty, there would be nothing to lick. Tracy, bog off with, I'm busy. I need some help. I've been trying to choose a photo of my nan. If you help me, and I'll help you choose one of yours. She hasn't got any. Oh, yes, I have, Justine Littlewood. But I don't take up valuable space for photos, cos I am a writer. And writers write about all the totally brilliant outings they've been on with their mums. Yeah, making it up as you go along. No, I'm not! She always used to take me out. The last time we went to the fair, we liked the big wheel the best. And she'd never say it was time to get off, ever. Sometimes it felt like we'd been going round for days. Yeah, me and my mum, we went everywhere together. Dusty. It's got my hay fever going now. Let's have a look. What is going on in here? We've been making fairy cake. Yeah, yeah, but what with? A baseball bat? Come on, let's get you hose down. Hey? Nobody washes twice a day. Maxie, you have got so much cake mix on you. I can either wash you or bake you. Hmm? Come on. Oh! That's it. Every scrap of my life up to date. Now all I have to do is decide what to wear. What's wrong with that? Peter, it's really important what you look like when you're dealing with a writer. They're seriously glamorous people. I bet she'll have servants to do everything for her. I can't meet her wearing just any old thing. I've got to look exactly right so she'll know I'm someone worth talking to. Oh, no! My beautiful, clean bathroom! You monster! Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes, and a lift into town after the writer's gone. Sunset Grove Omnibus, three tapes, a lift into town after the writer's gone, and a late pass. Oh, come on, Adele. We both know you've had your late pass for this week. Well, it's a shame the one of us that needs help can't forget about it then. Oh, come on. Rush will be here soon. Can I come with you to meet her? No. You're gonna roast in that. So, I've got to make an effort. The writer will probably turn up looking like a film star. At least she'll remember my name. Don't touch my mum! I mean, she's not my mum, but it's not cheating. Cos my mum and that model are practically twins. Now shift! Okay, I'm prepared to deal. Sunset omnibus, free tapes, a lift into town after the writer's gone. Too late. I dropped the late pass. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jenny's dropped the cleaning. Oh, Adele, the writer's here. Lasso the herd and get them into the sitting room, will you please? Thank you. Oh, don't try and escape back inside. Hi, I'm Cam Lawson. Hello, Jenny Edwards. Do come in. Hope this won't 
take long, I'm not sure I can stand the excitement. Get Maxi, Justine was going to sit there. Off, please. Right, why don't we show Cam your life books? Adele, I couldn't find yours. Oh, it's in my room. I'll go and get it. Oi, who's been in my stuff? This is my granny. She is dead. And so is my mum. Their angel is in heaven now. <coughs> Someone's been using all my makeup. Oh, yeah, there's only one person missing, and when I get my hands on her, I'm gonna kill her. Hello! At first, the crowd was stunned into silence as Tracy Beaker, the glamorous best selling writer, arrived to be interviewed by another famous best selling writer. Then they couldn't control themselves a moment longer and went absolutely wild! <laughs> no one told us there was gonna be a freak show. <laughs> That's enough, Justine, <laughs> Louise. Tracy, apologise to Adele. What for? Even you can't deny using her makeup with that much evidence on your face. Tracy. Sorry. Sorry! You will be. Now, Tracy, come and meet Cam. Tracy's the girl I told you about who wants to become a writer. Tracy, a writer? Yeah. That's really going to happen. Give that back! I'm Tracy Vika with my incredible heart-rending stories. <laughs> Tragic. She's only cut out a picture from a magazine pretending it's her mum. You two girls should go. Go. Oh, Maxie, I've had two already. We made them for you. Oh, all right then. I stuck the sweets on first. I licked them to make them extra grippy. <laughs> Maxie! Yeah, good idea. I tell you what, I reckon we should save this one for Tracy. Bug off, Jenny! I hate you! You knew how much I wanted to meet that writer. Tracy, it's and fine. I hate that Justine Littlewood. She all spoils everything. Tracy, it's me, Cam. I just wanted to tell you that I've looked through your life book. You've written some fantastic stuff. I adored a bit about your foster parents and the River of Tears. Showed a lot of imagination. Are you just saying that because you feel sorry for me? You better not, because I don't care. I know. No, you don't. I'm the one stuck in here, not you. I bet you're not even a proper writer. Writers don't bite their nails or wear tatty jeans. You look like a right loser, you do. Not rich and glamorous at all. That smart writers are really smart with posh hair and swanky clothes and loads of makeup and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. She likes you, Tracy Beaker. <laughs>